Hello, I'm Steve Brown, co-executive producer of the WGTD Radio Theater. Here are some clips from our 17th season of the Radio Theater. I hope you enjoy them. Why do I climb these stairs to get books for those nasty girls in this school? They don't appreciate it. They don't appreciate anything. Everything is just given to them by their well-off parents. Oh, and those girls expect to be spoiled by everyone else they come across, including us sisters. Sisters like me, who have sacrificed everything to teach those brats with their gold jewelry, trying to be better than the next bratty girl. Stay where you are! Stop pushing against me! Girl, stop! The WGTD Radio Theater is on the air in our 17th season. I am your host, Todd Eves, and this is show number 126. Today's show is The Cane Shadow, Sugar and Spice and Everything Nice. Now what? Of course, it's her. Hello, this is Orson Welles. Yeah, I know. Listen. There's a change in plan. What? Listen, Jeanette, it's bad enough I have to return to Chicago to re-record that radio commercial again, but now there's a change in plans? Yes, there's a change in plans. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. The Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, by air. President Roosevelt has just announced. This is Leon Pearson speaking for the Pan American Coffee Bureau, which represents seven good neighbor coffee growing nations, and presenting to you American families your Sunday evening visit with Mrs. Franklin D. Roosevelt. I am speaking to you tonight from the White House at a very serious moment in our history. The cabinet is convening at this time, and the leaders in Congress are meeting with the president. The State Department and Army and Navy officials have been with the President all afternoon. In fact, the Japanese ambassador was talking to the President at the very time that Japan's airships were bombing our citizens in Hawaii and the Philippines and sinking one of our transports loaded with lumber on its way to Hawaii. Well, you know, our holiday show starring Carol Burnett would not be complete without a visit from the family. And you know what that means. Eunice, Ed, yeah, Mama too, and other members of the family. No whale, no whale, no whale, no... Oh, Ed, would you please stop eating those nuts? Those are for Mama and the family, not for you. And turn off that TV and get your camera ready. My brother Larry is going to be here real soon. And I want you to be ready. Eunice, would you calm down? You're acting like the King of England was dropping in, or at least the Crown Prince. Well, it just so happens that I haven't seen my brother Larry in five whole years. That long, huh? Now stop that. Will Mama be so excited when she sees that Larry is here? Well, it's about time. I've been holding these presents, and it seems like it's been forever. Merry Christmas. Well, it's so nice to see you too, Mama. Oh, what pretty packages. And Eunice, you look all holiday light with those bright, shiny colors on your dress. And Ed, you are not going to spoil my day with that stupid camera of yours. Okay, Uh, that's your cue, okay. Hi, Mama. Here I am. Oh, it's my Larry, my sweet little angel boy, my Larry. Ed, I told you to put that darn Instamatic camera down. No photos. Why, Mama? Just tell me why. Because my hair looks all frizzy. And besides, I'm just having a wonderful time with my good son, Larry. My very good son. You let Mama enjoy these moments with Larry. She hasn't seen him in five years. Larry hasn't been that long? I mean, I know you got fired again. But you still are my holiday son. And Larry, why didn't you tell me you were going to be here? Well, Mama, Eunice wanted to surprise you. And uh, I was not fired. Are you surprised? Are you surprised? Uh, Yeah, Mama, are you surprised? Yeah, Mama, are you surprised? Yes, I most certainly am. Surprised, surprised, surprised. (laughs) 